So in this video today we're going to be having a look at um, a new bit of kit I've bought off Farnell. It's a two channel scope meter. Um, it cost about £160 including the delivery and there's a few different models starting from about 120 up to 160 Now this one's got the tone generator, tone generator built in which will be really useful. Um, I've got an upcoming video where I'm going to cal be calibrating this tape deck and for that I need a signal generator and a uh, oscilloscope. I thought it'd be really nice to have one of those, you know, handheld scope meters. But I didn't realise you could get them for, you know, sort of low prices. They're, they, you know, the ones made by Fluke, for example, cost, you know, over a thousand pounds. So when I saw this for about 160 pounds, I thought, well, yeah, let's, let's see what it's like. Uh, the, it's, it's one of those, I've seen other ones on the internet that look physically exactly the same as this one, but just with a different brand on it. So this one's branded by Multicomp Pro, but I'm assuming these are all just assembled in China and then have a different, you know, brand put on them. So uh, hey, that's enough talking, so I'll get it over to my bench and we'll, uh, we'll have a quick look at it. Okay, so here we are with my Multicomp Pro MP Dual Channel HH Oscilloscope 40 megahertz. Let's have a look at it. Well, that's nice. I wasn't expecting it to come with uh, a bag. I did know it came with some software um, for a computer, but I'm not exactly sure what, uh, what, what we can do with that yet. In this plastic packaging here, we've got the um, hook style test probe with the uh, negative crocodile clip attached to the outside. I'm sure this thing has a proper name, but I'm no expert with oscilloscopes and meters and things. So yeah, I don't know what the proper name is for that. Going inside the back next. So let's see what we've got inside here. So we've got all the leads on the left hand side there, including the meter probes. Nothing special, nothing high quality about them in particular. Let's move it to one side for a second. Got a USB C lead. Um, this will be for, you know, connecting it to PC to use the software or charging. We've got BNC to crocodile clip connectors, which will be in for the tone generator and uh, another one of the channel inputs. UK to USB C charger, rated at 2 amps. And the same only European connector, but same 2 amps. Well, moving on to the main event, wrapped in cellophane. Good weight to this thing, feels nice and solid. Let's get the cellophane off. Yeah, real chunky, nice, solid feeling thing, this. Nice, nice size display on it. I'm going to have a quick switch on, just as first impressions. Now, first impressions, the screen is excellent. Really very clear. Let's move it over to meter mode a second. That's the signal generator. That's scope mode. Yeah, really clear, sharp display. Impressed. This stand feels a little bit like it might break if you use it too much. Underneath this little panel here, we've got the USB-C connector. And we've got some uh, tone generator outputs, I think, there that you can clip onto. BNC connectors on top for channel 1, channel 2 in the generator output. Uh, nothing else on the sides. Yeah, this is the hook style plunger. Really useful, these things. Like I said, I don't know what the proper name is for them. It's the neck, the ground connector. BNC connector on one end. So 
So I'm just going to do a really quick test with this thing now, just to see the uh, continuity test that works on it. Which it does. Now I thought we'd do a really quick test where I'd put a tone output from it and try and get the oscilloscope to measure itself using the built-in tone generator. So I'm just going to generate a 1 kilohertz tone. And then we'll see if we get it to come up on the scope. I'm not going to go into any advanced features on this video. I don't know enough about scopes and things in order to do that. Really, I just thought I'd give people a quick look at what they're going to get for the money. And so far, I'm really impressed. It must be said. Now, I was expecting the screen to light up with a signal here, but then I realised that I'd forgotten to uh, actually set the tone off playing. So we'll go back to Tone Generator, press the play button. When the button goes green, tone's being generated. And there we go. We can see it on the screen now. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this scope meter with me, but that's all I'm going to go into um, on this video. I'm not going to go into any more of the advanced features. Um, it's really easy to use, it's well made, and I highly recommend it for the money. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.